Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited because I'm finally filming my January favorites. This year has started off with a bang and I feel a bit behind but I have so many fun goodies to share with you so we're gonna go ahead dive into my January favorites I've got some skincare makeup fragrance and of course a little bit of fashion as well so if you are interested in seeing my January favorites then let's go ahead and get started Oh my goodness, I have missed everyone. January was a big month for me. I kicked off the month by doing my Blissfully Fed Detox and I briefly wanted to give my group a big kudos and shout out because we had an amazing season. We got healthy together, had a little fun together, and now I feel like I'm just getting back into the groove of filming. I had a couple little small trips to go on, so I apologize for the delay, but I thought we would go ahead and start with some skincare tools and products that I have been incorporating into my routine and absolutely loving. So the first is a tool and at the beginning of January I was like I need to commit to being consistent with my zip halo. So this zip halo tool is a nanocurrent and microcurrent tool and this is going to lift and sculpt your skin as well as give your skin a glow and um, the key with using any tool or device is that you need to be consistent with it. So I committed in January to being consistent with this tool basically starting off like doing a week's worth and then kind of narrowing down to at least twice or three times a week. And the reason I love this is that it basically connects with my phone. It has an app and they have really cool technology, different modalities that you can use for different parts of your face all over. Um, they have one that's for your lips that they just launched that is super cool because it totally gives your pucker, um, totally plumps it up. So excited. I will do a video on that one because I was so shocked by the results, especially for someone like myself who does not have like big lips. Um, got a lot out of it. So this has been something that I have been consistently using and it is an absolute favorite. So the key is it doesn't take that long. Each segment you can do like a four minute, an eight minute, up to 12 minute one. You can incorporate this into your life, either doing it in the morning or in the evening. I tend to like to do this in the morning because I feel like I get that true like lifted effect and I really am seeing results with this tool. Again, the key with any tool I always tell people when they come ask me about, is it worth it? It is worth it if you're going to actually commit to it and you know use it consistently. I know some people be like, oh, I bought it. I used it a couple times. I didn't see any results. Um, just like anything in life, you gotta like put the time in before you see the results not gonna just happen overnight. But now that I have been using it for more than a month, I've really incorporated this into my routine and I kind of feel like I can't live without it. I'm a little bit addicted to it now. Um, I feel like my skin really does feel like it's lifted and firming and it just kind of trains the muscles. So, so excited about the Zip Halo and this is something that I was able to get a discount code for you all. It is Zip. Z-I-I-P, Abby, A-B-B-Y, Zip Abby, and that's going to be for 10% off. So if you want to join me and kind of commit to using the Zip, we can keep each other accountable. Um, I would definitely tell you, loving, a little bit addicted to this device, and so glad that I finally just sort of 
committed to using it so I could start to really get those results. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you will know that I am somebody who is a big believer in masking. Um, I have a bit of sensitive, fussy skin. I can't do a lot of really aggressive treatments, but I did find that my skin just loves masking. So two masks that I have been just living in or using religiously. Uh, these are from Shantakai. You've heard me talk about these before. The first one is the Bio Lifting Mask and the other one is the Gold Recovery Mask. Now, a tip that I like to tell people is these are expensive masks, but I use them as sleeping masks. I will use them um, in the morning as well, where I will kind of either let it sink in or wash off. But I rarely rinse these off because they are just like luxe butter and they just do miracles for my skin. So the bio lifting mask is literally sort of like Botox in a little jar here and I just love the texture of this one and I will oftentimes use this as my last step in my nighttime routine smother it all over and just sleep in it and my skin will wake up just happy as a clam that is similar to the gold recovery mask and the gold recovery mask I call this gold butter it is so thick and luxe I just love it and to be honest with you I like to combine these so I will do a layer of my bio lifting and then the recovery gold is just a little bit thicker and denser and I almost feel like I put it on top of my bio lifting and I will kind of pat it into my skin and it's almost like it seals in all of the goodness but I love to use the Chantecaille mask brush and I will like literally paint this on my skin it's just like self-care that I just love to do. I will also do this like on a Sunday morning when I'm doing like a hair mask and then I'll paint these masks on. And again, these will sort of sink into my skin. I don't always rinse these off even if I'm wearing them during the day. These are just two that my skin really likes. And the gold recovery mask is just that. Like the gold line is all about like replenishing, recovery ring and sometimes if my skin's been fussy I'm just going to use this one all over because um, it really does kind of soothe it hydrates it firms it kind of does it all and then the bio lifting really does give you that sort of kind of feel on the skin that I like it hydrates it leaves kind of this beautiful glow on the skin but it just um, kind of gives you that lifting even if it's temporary gives me a little lift which I need at the ripe old age of 55. Okay then I have a new launch from You Beauty and this product is for all of my dry skin friends especially if you've been feeling extra dry in the winter months I think you might fall in love the super this is the intensive face oil from you beauty and this was love at first try um i was so excited that they came out with a face oil you guys know i love you beauty products um i love combining the two of these together you know that i love the you beauty the super hydrator just a fantastic moisturizer gonna give you a nice glow but if you are somebody who's been feeling extra dry or you just love face oils I think you're going to love this one so it just literally is this gorgeous face oil that is gonna give your skin the most gorgeous 
glow, but it just feels so hydrated. And I'm somebody who likes the face oils that actually like feel hydrating. There's some face oils that are kind of like dry oils that I know some people with more oily skin kind of like. I'm somebody who kind of wants that luxe feel that is just going to kind of sink in and really make my skin feel so hydrated and that is exactly what this face oil does and it does completely absorb as well but like when I tried this for the very first time it was like my skin just sort of said <sighs> kind of sucked it in and I just felt like it was so hydrated like not just even that day but like that it penetrated and that my skin was more hydrated overall and so I have been adding in this face oil to my routine. I will put the face oil on first and then I will top it with my moisturizer and just a little bit like this and it's going to give you the most gorgeous glow on your skin. It's going to keep it hydrated and this has just been my kind of go-to combo for hydration. I have certain brands that I'm very loyal to as far as products that I've used forever like Biologique Recherche. Still love that brand but these are two products that I have been adding in for pure hydration and my skin has just been loving it and it just kind of incorporates seamlessly in to my overall routine. So I cannot recommend this combo enough but also the oil itself is going to be like the perfect moisturizer on its own as well. Like if your skin is more combination, you could completely get away with just using this as your hydrator. It's so amazing. I just have been loving on it. It's got all sorts of excellent ingredients in it. Doing a little deeper dive in my skincare routine, needing that extra hydration, and that is a winner. And I do have a code for you, beauty. It is for good skin 20 20% 20 off and again um any codes that I have, any discount codes that I have to share with you, I will include them in the description box, but for, almost forgot that most important piece for good skin 20, 20% 20 off. So definitely use that if you're going to be picking up any You Beauty products. And then we have an important restock that I have to share with you. Um, this is my favorite SPF. Uh, again, if you've been watching my channel, you will know that I love the Glow Skin Beauty um, Solar Shade SPF 50 and then they discontinued it and I was so sad because that was just like my perfect mineral sunscreen and I finally found a replacement after going through many many SPFs and trying them out. I fell in love with the Bloom Effects. This is the Tulip Dew Sunscreen Serum. This is a 100% mineral sunscreen. It is an SPF of 50. It is slightly tinted. I'm at the end of mine, so sorry, I'm missing the cap here. It is just so lovely. Again, it's very hydrating. It's going to leave my skin nice and glowy, but that just sinks right in. It feels light, hydrating. It's a nice serum, and it has been sold out, and so I do have a restock of this, and this is another one that I have a code for, so it always makes me excited when I can share discounts with you and that code is abby20 for 20% 20 off so I want to let you know back in stock I have one on the way to me as well that is my preferred SPF that's what I use every single day and again cannot recommend it enough okay moving on to a hair product I picked up the way this is the Hair Gloss. It's a new product and this is amazing. It is a product that you're going to leave in for like five minutes in the shower, rinse it 
style your hair as normal and it really does add a super glossy shine it is safe for anybody who colors their hair as well i love this as like a little pick me up this is something that i will do about once a week it will last through at least like three maybe even five washings. So it's something that you're gonna have for a bit, but if you are on the hunt for something that's gonna give your hair like a little rejuvenation, a little glossy finish, um, I would definitely check out this hair gloss, something I've been loving. I also picked this up for my daughter. She loves it as well. So kind of a nice little add-in to your routine. And it definitely gives your hair a nice little gloss. And I also feel like it gives my hair a little bit of volume as well. Like it kind of coats the hair shaft and makes it a little bit fuller and manageable. Okay, moving on to a little bit of makeup. Of course, we've got a little Chanel to share with you. And one of my favorite eye quads, this is, might be one of my favorites overall that has recently launched, is the Eclat de Nuit. And this is just right up my alley. I just love this neutral eye palette, but it's got a little bit of pop. To it. So this little color right over here has this kind of beautiful green shade. I just think it is stunning on the eyes. And then it's got just these beautiful neutrals. You can create the perfect neutral eye look, but with a little bit of a pop. And if you didn't want to do the little pop here with the green, you can just use these colors right here. And this is what I have on my eyes currently without the little pop, because I wanted to show you that color in action because it's so darn pretty and it's really pretty with hazel green eyes. So I'm just gonna take a little dab of this and I'm just going to kind of show you how pretty that pop of green is. I just love it so much. It's not too much. It just gives your eyes a little oomph. And this is just such a great, versatile, smoky eye quad. I love, love, love it. And it came with two new... Stilo U eyeliners and again those are my ultimate favorite eyeliners. Um, I pretty much have almost every single color and I picked them up in the beige Lumi Air. It's going to be a little bit more golden and I love to wear that on the bottom waterline and then it comes in Brune Platine and let me show you. That's Brune Platine, a really soft brown. I love that for kind of my um, upper lash line. And then I've been wearing the Beige Lumiere, the gold one on the bottom to kind of open up the eyes just a bit. These are just both soft eyeliners and then you can use the darker one right here to kind of pop your eyes and make it a bit smoky up on the upper lash line. So this is just ultimate favorite if you're someone like me and can not get enough kind of neutral color stories, but maybe you want a little bit of jazz. I think you're going to love this one. It is so pretty and very versatile, truly. So that's been one of my favorite launches from Chanel. And then I took a deep dive into G Beauty and I have literally loved everything that I have picked up. So starting with Prime Skin, I love, love, love this foundation. This is more of a skin tint, but it just plumps up your skin. It kind of gives you a little bit of coverage. It's like kind of the perfect everyday makeup. I think this is also so good for mature skin because um, the ingredients in here include hyaluronic acid and things like that, but it just is going to kind of um, leave you with a very fresh, radiant look on the skin. So I start with this. I have it in shades two and three. Primarily, I have been wearing 
two the most, but then I picked up three so that I could mix them a bit. Two totally works if you're my skin twin. That is what I'm wearing today is shade two. Oftentimes I will do a pump and half a pump of three to kind of make it the perfect shade. And then for a little extra coverage, I have their multi-stick cream foundation. And I'm somebody who loves a cream foundation for quick and easy makeup. And you guys, this one, I freaking love. This um, has the same texture and consistency as well as coverage of the concealer from Clay to Poe. I know that's supposed to be a concealer, but I often love to wear that as foundation because it's sort of high impact, but it leaves the most beautiful velvety finish on your skin. This is basically a bigger version of that. I have it in shade three, and so I will put on kind of that prime skin tint and then I will go in with this shade three with this multi-stick cream foundation. It's so creamy. I will go in where I need it with coverage. I'm like bim bam boom quickly putting on makeup and I will use the G Beauty. I love this brush here. This is the contour and blend brush and I will kind of just come in buff that into the skin. I love this side underneath the eyes with my concealer here. So you are actually seeing, I just came back from Parents Weekend in LA. So I'm literally pulling out my makeup from what I took and I literally took all of my G Beauty products. So that's how much I love it. Generally you travel with your tried and true loves. And then for concealer under the eyes, I love the G Beauty. This is the brightening concealer. This one is in shade three and I love the consistency of this. It's very light in texture. It does not like fall into my wrinkles definitely brightens up a bit underneath the eyes, but it's hydrating. Um, it just seems to work great underneath the eyes. And that combination has been my go-to prime skin, the little multi-stick cream foundation, this concealer, uh, my go-to for the past month. Um, absolutely fell in love with G Beauty. I took their color sticks. These are so awesome. I have this in blush beam, pinky beam, and cocoa bean here. And what I will do is literally take that brush, run it all over all three of them, and then pop that on my cheeks. It gives me a very radiant, healthy glow. I find this to be sort of youthful, radiant makeup. It's just easy. These are fantastic to travel with, but just, you know, you can kind of slap it on. You're going to look refreshed. That's what you need when you're traveling. I often have a hard time sleeping. So um, love the color sticks. And then I will top everything off with their baked bronzing powder. This is in Warm Glow. Again, love this because it just sort of glides seamlessly on the skin. I'll just take a little swirl of this and add it onto the skin. And it's, and it's not too much. Just going to give me a nice little glow here all over. Really been enjoying this baked bronzer for just a nice little hit of warmth. Nothing too much. Since we're still in the winter months, but I just have been loving all of my G Beauty purchases. Definitely a brand to check out and they now sell G Beauty on um, Neiman Marcus. So kind of exciting as well. And, and I also love the fact that this is a family brand. It has the mom and the sisters and they're all really kind of unique, chic and cool. They do lives on their each of their Instagrams. They're just really a fun family to follow. Um, very knowledgeable and I've just really fallen in love with that brand, the sisters, all of it. So would highly recommend checking out G Beauty. Okay, on the lip front, 
As many of you know, I'm a huge fan of Dior Lip Maximizers, and I purchased it in the Icy Blue shade. I'm afraid I don't have it to show you because my daughter just took it from me when I was in LA. She loved it so much, so I'm going to be repurchasing that because I loved it. It just gave a really beautiful milky sheen on the lips. Don't worry, it does not look like too blue or anything, but it is just a really pretty milky shade. Completely loved that. So did Zoe. Um, and then this next lip combo, I saw this on TikTok. I'm afraid I don't know um, who I saw it from, but basically she was talking about finding the perfect nude lip combo that wasn't too brown or too pink and it was the Too Faced. This is the Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper and this one is in Puffy Nude. And again if I can find her, um, the person that I saw this on TikTok, I will definitely share her info. Not trying to steal anything. I just couldn't recall. I saw it. I bought it immediately and um, have just been using this combo ever since. So this is Puffy Nude shade. It is such a perfect color. I almost think it's like kind of a mauve nude. And then she topped it with the YSL candy glaze i already owned this one um love this this is a number two which is basically a clear with a little bit of a pink hue it's so beautiful these like are so awesome especially if you love a glossy lip but you like the feel of a little bit more of a balm i think you will love the candy glaze I'm going to first put it on top of the lip liner just to show you here. I'll put it on my lips as well. And this lip injection does have some plumping feeling to it. So um, you definitely need to know that up front definitely has a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a sting, but it's got a little something something going on. And let me just show you the perfection of this combo. So... I will line my lips with Puffy Nude. And I love this color just by itself, kind of like a lip stick color. Then take your candy glaze in two and And then here is the perfect nude lip color. Just been loving on this combo. So if you're like myself, you like a nude, but it has a little bit of oomph to it. I think you're gonna love this combo. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to a couple perfumes that just kind of made my eyes roll back in their head. It smells so good. I have two perfumes that I fell in love with. These are definitely going to be for my people who love kind of gourmand fragrances. The first one is from Mansara. This is a more cafe and it was so funny because I was able to have this pre-launch and so I was having a hard time not spilling the beans about it. <laughs> um, I was like this one is so good people are going to love it and basically this one smells like the most delicious vanilla ice cream affogato. This is a coffee fragrance. It's got a big dose of vanilla ice cream in this. It smells so delicious, but it is not going to make you feel sick is what I would say. is. It's definitely sweet. This is definitely for my gourmand lovers, but it just dries down to such a delicious scent. It is just gorgeous. It is 
delectable, so fun to wear. I wanted to give a little shout out to this one. And I also love the fact that this comes in a smaller size. I believe they have a 50 mil as well as 120 mil something like that but I love the fact that you may love this perfume but may not need the big full bottle of it um, and this is one that you can get at Twisted Lily which I do have a code Abby 10 10% 10 off so always like to get perfume on sale but this is a definite mm, smells so good fragrance and the other fragrance I have is a new launch from Anishio. This is a sister brand to Parfums de Marly, and this one is Narcotic Delight. I've already had so many people DMing me if I was gonna pick this up, what my thoughts were on this, and this literally was love at first sniff. This again is going to be in this gourmand genre. So for all of you that love gourmand fragrances, Narcotic Delight was another one of these that was love at first sniff. And that doesn't always happen with everything that I sample or try. This one I knew I was like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. And I had not read the notes initially. I just literally knew it was a new launch and smelled it and was like, oh, I really love it. This actually has a cherry note in it, but I would tell you that if you're someone who's like, look about cherry fragrances, totally understand. They can either be amazing or not so amazing. Um, this one is on the amazing side, but I would not have pulled out or even thought that this was a cherry fragrance. Um, it is definitely in the background. There's, there's a cherry note in here, but it's vanilla, cognac, black and pink pepper, a little bit of spice in here, and then an overdose of Hedion, which is a molecule that is like so addictive. Like that's the one thing about these Anishio fragrances is that Hedion really like has this captivating way of just making it addictive. Like I sprayed this on, I left the store, I went and had dinner, and then I came back and I purchased this perfume because I loved it so much. I couldn't stop smelling myself. My husband loved it. Um, and I was kind of surprised because this does have a little bit of tobacco in it as well. And my husband's not a huge lover of that. But again, this is just so well blended. To me, that Hedion gives a little bit of freshness to this fragrance. It's definitely a gourmand fragrance, but it's just not too much of anything. It's not too sweet. It's not too vanilla. It's just very addictive. Again, another one of these fragrances that's fantastic for this time of year. You could definitely wear this throughout the year as well, but oh, I'm going to do a full review on this, but I just had to mention this has been nonstop love for these two soft gourmands. They're definitely different. This one is going to be more vanilla ice cream. This one's got that sexy, sultry, little bit of mystery going on in it. Just super addictive. And again, this is one that I have been wearing a lot and it's like compliment getter and it's just really fun to wear. Cannot get enough of this. And this is a major player as far as longevity. Um, it lasts on your skin, but it is also going to last on your clothes. You're gonna get the most intoxicating cloud around you. People are gonna wanna hug you. <laughs> Um, this is just such an amazing launch from Manichio and cannot get enough of it. So wanted to mention those two gourmand fragrances. Definitely different, but definitely worth checking out. Okay, last but not least, I've got a few fun clothing slash athletic gear to share with you. My sisters and I are going to be going on a sisters trip. We're going to be going to participate in the LA Half Marathon. This is a charity event for 
Deborah. We are on Team Deborah, which is on behalf of my nephew who has Epidermalosa bullosa. So we are so proud to be part of the Deborah team. And of course, I had to get a cute outfit for the event. It's coming up in March, but I've got this adorable Nike. This is one of those skorts. So I love wearing these instead of shorts. It's got a little bit more coverage and then of course it's got like the little shorts underneath but I got the classic Nike skirt. so comfortable I love these I've got them in a couple different colors but I've got the black one and I am a bit of a Nike girl I live in Portland Oregon that's where Nike is headquartered and then I got the most adorable little light wind breaker um, this is so cute it's perfect for here because it's going to wick the rain but is this not so cute just has a little cute hood here um, it's lightweight so even though I will be in LA I am somebody who doesn't do well with the sun so I often like to wear sleeves so this is light enough that I can kind of have this on my arms with a little black tank underneath but I've just been so in love with this little jacket and it's also cute beyond just working out like you can wear this as your little rain little windbreaker and I just thought that was so cute and then I picked up some new really cute but super comfortable running shoes these are the Nike Invincible Three. These are road running shoes and I wear a size seven in shoes. I always go up half a size in my running shoes. So I pick these up in a seven and a half. They fit perfectly. Um, and the good sign of a good running shoe is when you slip them onto your feet and they feel comfortable right off the bat. That's what I would say about these shoes. So comfortable. I've kind of been not wanting to run too much on them because the event is not until March, but I do absolutely love these. So my little Nike outfit is ready to go for the event. And then I wanted to highlight one of my favorite shirts that I have in a couple different colors. This is the Citizens of Humanity. This is the Kayla shirt. And I picked this up in the crisp white shade. I already own the shirt in the dark navy as well as the light blue. But if you're looking for the perfect casual white shirt, the Kayla is where it's at. I love the sleeves because they have these buttons which automatically kind of make it into three fourths of a sleeve or you can undo them and wear it full length. It's also a little longer in the back so the tail kind of covers your bum. It just looks so great with your jeans. It's like it spiffs up your jeans, your casual wear just a little bit, but it also has that nice casual feel to it. Um, it's definitely oversized. I have this in an extra small. It's still quite oversized and I love it because you can also kind of wear a tank underneath. You can wear it by yourself. You can wear it open. And again, this is just such a staple piece. So have it in other colors, but went ahead and picked it up in the white and I've been wearing that non-stop. Okay, so those are my favorites from the month of January. Better late than never, but now I am home. I'm going to be pumping out content. I'm so excited. I have got a lot to get through, so bear with me. I'm going to be pumping out content almost every day. <laughs> for a bit of time. Hope you don't get sick of me, but um, thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video soon.